Oh, hey, were you here to see a really messed up terrain? Well, you will see it again, just not in this video. I'm not crazy enough to fix that. Or am I? You'll find out. Today's video is about a much overlooked piece of equipment. Actually, two of them. That's my truck and my car trailer. My car trailer's been with me since 1997. It's got a little over 200,000 miles on it, and it needs a little help. About two years ago, I put a new tongue on it, new axles, new tires, new fenders, and LED lights. That was just to keep it going down the road. And those were my pre-video days, so I just have some stills of that. At one point, the right fender on the trailer was completely missing. So all that work needed to be done just to continue using it. It is a piece of equipment, and it is gonna get beat up and show its age. That's just a fact of life. But now that I'm considering upgrading, and I might wanna sell this one, it was time to make it look pretty once again. I didn't wanna spend a ton of money, but I wanted to fix everything that needed to be done to make it look like a brand new trailer. So I bought some new wood, I bought new wiring, and I bought some paint. We're gonna clean it up and make it a little more presentable so that we can sell it and hopefully get a decent amount for it. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is remove the wood. In order to do that, we have to pull this angle iron off that's in back, it's welded on. Once we take that piece off, the wood will be exposed, we can just pull it out. So now I took out a couple of the broken boards, trying to arrange it in some kind of a pattern with the new boards to make it symmetrical. Didn't work out. I had a couple different length boards and not enough of them, so I got the pattern as close as possible. Now I'm going to trim the edges. They were about a three quarters of an inch too long, so I'm just trimming them down. I'm going to take them out of the way for now. I'm going to pull the lights out. Pull all the wiring out. There were lights up in the front corner, so I'm just taking those out. They didn't work. They're not required on a trailer this size, so I'm just going to weld up the holes. Clean up some of the welds for that angle iron, and then I'm welding on some springs, and I'm going to run the wires through the springs. A lot of people use washers or conduit. The washers will rub through the wires so I didn't want to use that and the conduit collects dirt and ends up rusting out so the springs allow the dirt to fall through and don't rub through the wires so it kind of work better I'm grinding all the holes that I welded up where the lights were up in the front now I'm priming all the spots I just welded now I got a wire wheel and I'm just going over all the trailer knocking all the loose rust and paint off. Just going to go around the whole trailer a couple times. The heavier stuff I'll use an actual grinding disc but for the most part it came off pretty clean with just a wire wheel. Blow it all off. Put our wires in. This is regular trailer wire loom. It's got the four wires in it. I'm going to run two wires to the other side for the stoplight and the marker light. Now you can put the boards back in. I'm 
I'll put the angle iron back on, clamp it down, get it nice and tight to hold those boards in there tight. We can weld it up. I had to get a little creative to push the center of this board down, so I just ratchet strapped my ramp on there and then jacked up the back end push down the center so when I welded it it was nice and tight. Now I'm wiping everything down getting all the extra dust off and dirt. I'm ready to start painting. Just a roller and a brush on this one. Roller for the flat spots, brush for the little detailed areas inside the stake pockets and tail lights and stuff like that. Not going for show quality here. Just wanted to look good. It is a work trailer. I'm wiping down the fenders. Now we're going to paint the deck. Use a bigger roller on this to make it go a little faster. Paint the fenders. I'm going to try some Never Dull on the toolbox to bring it back to its original glossy shine. I lost interest already. So now we're going to try buffing it. Decided that was a bad idea next to the fresh paint, so I took it outside and finished it. So now I'm going to rewire the lights back on there. test them as we put them in. They worked before. I want to make sure they work when I'm done. Just cleaning up the wheels. the ramps back in. Now we're going to wire up the front of the trailer. Change the plug for the end of the trailer. Got it all wired up. Just checking to make sure it works and it's plugged into my truck. Put the cool box back on. You see those big brackets? Those cover up the holes. Because of the dissimilar metals, the metal bolts actually rusted a hole with the washers through the bottom of that toolbox. So I put some aluminum brackets over the holes. So instead of being an inch washer, it was a three inch washer. I'm putting all my straps and tie downs and everything back in the toolbox. There you have it. Trailer's all done. I did say two pieces of equipment. My truck is a diesel and I'm a fanatic about maintaining it, so it doesn't need a whole lot of work. I don't have a video of the original rebuild when I bought the truck because that was my pre-video days. But I recently did have the trailer hitch rot out on me. It's a pretty common problem on these trucks. The tubes for the trailer hitch get full of dirt and water and they rot out from the inside because it's always damp in there. And especially on a vehicle like mine that's constantly used for towing, 
eventually it cracks. So I upgraded to a heavier duty hitch. Unfortunately, because it wasn't OEM, it didn't have a bracket for the trailer plug. You can buy an aftermarket L bracket that just bolts onto the bumper and then the plug goes inside it and it just kind of dangles down. And it looks aftermarket. I don't like it. I like stuff that looks OEM. So I'm gonna relocate my trailer plug to inside the bumper. If you look at a lot of newer trucks, they use a style very similar to this. And I've done it on my last four trucks. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It doesn't take very long or a lot of tools. So let's get started. So our kit came with that bracket that I was talking about that they want you just to hang on the bottom of the car. But I don't like it, so we're just gonna use it as a template. Make things real easy for us. Checking behind to make sure there's nothing that's gonna interfere with the plug once we put it in. No frame rails, no wires, anything like that. Everything's good, so we can go ahead. Just gonna hold the bracket up there and mark our holes. The center hole where the plug will go through and then the four screw holes. I'm going to drill a pilot hole in the center, just an eighth inch drill bit. I'm going to use a hole saw. I didn't have the right size hole saw, so I just got the biggest one I had. And then I'll use a reamer just to make the hole big enough to put the plug in. If I'd had the right size hole saw, I could have just drilled one hole and been done. So it took a little longer this way, but not a big deal. We got our center hole big enough. Now we're going to drill our screw holes. Eighth inch drill bit again. Fishing the plug through. Just plug it in. Set it in there. Now we can put our screws in. Told you it was simple, especially when you have that template, which is the bracket, and it looks much better than hanging down below, and those tend to get ripped off and broken and everything else. So this kind of looks like it belongs there. There you go. There's my old, new-looking trailer, all finished, ready to go. If you like the how-to for the trailer plug and the bumper of the truck, I can do little stuff like that anytime. I wasn't sure if that was something you'd want to see or not, so I threw it in at the end of this video that was kind of short anyway. If it's something you like and you want to see more of these little ones, just leave me a comment and let me know. Subscribe for monthly videos and share if possible. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next month.